Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camp and Tactical Nut here. And today we're here to introduce the Contour Feather from Outdoor Element. So stay tuned. Okay guys, I uh, just want to go ahead and get this out of the way. This is just going to be an unboxing because uh, literally this just came in the mail and I never do a review of a product I haven't used yet. But, uh, kind of give you a little history. I started off with this company. I got one of their fire beaners. Review will be coming soon. I've had, well, this one for several years. Don't know why I haven't gotten to review it. But I liked it so much I ended up acquiring two more, right? Because I'm like, these things are fantastic. I want all of my keychains to use these. So one for my car, wife's car, daughter's car. Um, you know, my sets of keys for those. Then, about two months ago, I got this one. It was out of the Battle Box. Um, I think it's like the Feather. Yeah, the Phoenix Feather. I have been absolutely loving it. Review will be coming soon. I may have just given away a little bit of it, but... <laughs> That's okay. And so when I saw they had this one, I actually reached out to them asking if they could possibly send one for me to review. And they instantly replied, yep, and asked for the address. So here are the specs that'll be on the box. Uh, blade length, like, probably should have brought my reading glasses. <laughs> blade length is two inches, knife length five and a half, uh, sheath length is 6.3, weight 3.2 with sheath, so that's awesome. Uh, handle thickness is 0.5, blade thickness 0.113, blade material VG10, that's good, can be good still. Uh, the Rockwell hardness is going to be 58 to 61, a quarter inch hex driver in it, replaceable hex ferro rod, <coughs> integrated blade sharpener, integrated 115 decibel whistle, and a pocket clip. And here is a, if you want to pause it and take a look at it. As far as the diagram and stuff goes, go ahead. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy. So in the box, it will show you how everything works. So once again, if you want to pause it, hopefully there's a lighting isn't too bad. Again, I don't have my reading glasses on, so <laughs> looking at the viewfinder, it's like, well, hopefully. All right, this is the bad boy in the box. Glad I brought a knife back. Not that I don't always have a knife, but you know. <clears throat> Alright, so here we go in its sheath. There we go, that's probably better. On this side, this is your ferro rod right here. Take this puppy out. Ooh. Small blade. But that's pretty cool. And that fits very nicely in the hand. Very comfortable. Good jimping right here. <clears throat> There's your little hex wrench if necessary. If you need it. Wow. So, let's see if you can see this. It says VG10, I think right down here. Wow, that's kind of, that's really nice. Oh, whistle. Hopefully this won't be too loud. <laughs> loud enough. <laughs> See how much my dogs like that. Um, there's your sharpener in the sheath, obviously. Well, it's shaving sharp already, so I'm not really going to need to holding the blade at all but man that's kind of a cool little knife let's uh scrape that paint off there we go Ooh. yeah that's gonna work just nice so can't wait to get to using this pocket clip should work pretty well um I have on really thin shorts, but I mean, as light as this is, I mean, it'd be easy to carry in a pocket. That would be incredibly easy. Or you could, like, you know, clip it to a pack or something like that. Um, yeah, 
I think this is gonna be really cool. Give you another look around. I like the features. Once I get to using it, I will get back to you with a review on it. But, seems impressive so far. I think it's going to work pretty well. Um, but also, stay tuned. Probably later this week or the beginning of next week, I'll be doing the review of this one, um, as well as possibly the next week doing the fire beaners. And at some point, I need to review their Kodiak <laughs> paracord bracelet as well that I have. I've been acquiring a lot of stuff for a while, and sometimes I just forget to review things. And uh, you know what? Because you're just using them all the time, and then after a while, you just kind of assume you reviewed it. If you're a gear reviewer, hopefully you know what I mean. Leave it in the comments if you <laughs> if you understand that. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, if you like this kind of content, please hit the like button and the subscribe button, notification bell, all of those things. Leave a comment. Um, it really helps the channel. And in the meantime, be prepared, have fun, and check out Outdoor Element.